really 50 years. Um, after all that effort, it's taken years off my life, I need to tell you. <laughs> anyway, it's very nice to hear you say nice things about it. But I, I must say, today, it is the greatest possible pleasure to, um, to have this opportunity to be with all of you here today, particularly, if I may say so, having only very recently visited uh, Cambridge University's Whittle Laboratory to see their world-leading research and development efforts on innovative next-generation aero engines and aircraft design. Likewise, this, this centre, in the heart of the United Kingdom, brings together from industry and academia some of the brightest minds to tackle some of our, uh, of our society's toughest problems. As some of you may have discovered by now, ladies and gentlemen, I have been pressing for action on environmental issues for more years than I care to remember. In fact, it is 50 years, I suppose. <laughs> Since the days when I think probably the only uh, electric vehicles on the roads were the occasional milk float. In all the years since then, what has always struck me when looking at the challenge of changing not only technology but human behaviour is the need for a cooperative, joined up approach between all those who are pursuing the same goal by whatever means. It seems to me also that key to finding these solutions is a relentlessly pioneering spirit. And that is what I know this area um, and this whole marvelous region has always had in great abundance. With such a fine heritage of inventiveness and innovation to inspire you from the past, there could be no better place in which to make the discoveries of the future. I, I hope the Centre will continue to inspire the next generation of automotive designers, engineers and researchers to innovate through collaborative research projects with manufacturers, suppliers and, of course, with academia. If we want to keep travelling, then we really have no choice other than to decarbonize this essential industry as rapidly as possible. By bringing the key people together, we can make a real difference in the effort to transform the way we travel. And in this regard, I, I can only wish you every possible success with your work. And now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, nothing could give me greater pleasure than to wonder what is lurking beneath <laughs> this interesting cloth here. And I will attempt to unveil this plaque to mark the official opening of the National Automotive Innovation Centre without the aid of any exciting technology. <laughs>